Welcome back. We just wanted to briefly revisit this connecting rod issue on the Mercedes OM642 intake manifold. Since coming up with and designing our repair kits a couple of years ago to solve this problem, a number of competing versions have sprung up and we just wanted to briefly discuss some of the key features on our design and some things to look out for when purchasing a repair kit. One key feature that distinguishes our rod design from others out there is that, just like the original Mercedes design, our rods feature this raised locating boss on the bottom of the rods, which aligns and centers the rod into the swirl valve arms on the manifold and is the main point of contact and force transferred between the rods and the arms. To illustrate the importance of this boss, we have this first manifold here, and you can see that this middle swirl valve arm has some wear. And you can see just how much of a slop remains when we put the connecting rod in place. Now to simulate how the slop would behave if the rod didn't have the raised boss I just showed, we can lift it just a little bit and you can see just how much movement there would be. But when we drop it down and let that raised boss make full contact, the slop is almost completely eliminated. So if we didn't have the raised boss, all of the pressure would be taken up by the retainer, which would quickly wear out. Looking at this second manifold, you can see that the swirl valve arm is even more worn than the previous one. In cases like this, even with our rods with the raised boss, you'll still have a lot of pressure and stress put on the retainer clip. And so if you use the original retainer clips in this case, you can expect them to wear out in just a couple of years and require replacement again. To remedy that, we've redesigned the retainers by using a more wear-resistant plastic, and we have increased the thickness of the retainer heads. And then if you look at the top of the rod, we've raised this wall here to give a deeper pocket for the retainers. You can see this here when we have them side by side with the original parts. This deeper pocket, coupled with the increased thickness of our new retainers, gives a much larger surface area for wear and significantly increases the life of the retainers versus the original thin design. With these improvements, you can expect these rods and retainers to outlast the life of your vehicle. So that's a couple of things to look for when selecting a repair kit, especially as we've noticed that some competitors have used photos of our new, thicker retainers in their advertising, but are actually supplying the original thin version. If you pay close attention to their videos, you can clearly see they're using the original thin design. If you have any additional questions or would like to place an order, you can get in touch with us or one of our distributors. When ordering, be sure to let us know your vehicle model and year so that we can make sure you receive the correct version of rods. And if you let us know your mailing address, we can also quote you shipping options available. To get in touch with us, you can find our email below in the video description. And if you haven't seen our other videos on this connecting rod issue, you can find links to them below as well.